too. Malcolm, what's going on? Another one. <laughs> Legends live forever. Come on, keep trying. Two, three, four. Keep trying. Good job. Good job. Cute kid, huh? Three. Yep, that's the look of a kid who saw his dad playing with the ball, and he wanted to dribble it too. As you can see, it was harder than the kid thought. Keep trying, keep trying. That kid is me, Malcolm, and this is my basketball journey, year one. A wise man once said, if you don't know your past, you don't know your future. Or something like that, so, brief bio. I'm just a regular kid from Houston, Texas. I'm a proud Texan. Trust me, I even got the boots to prove it. I used to have dreams of having a tail and being a dinosaur when I grew up. I settled for scientists, even though I strongly disliked homework. I'm a YouTuber. Sub, please. I make Lego movies about dinosaurs. What's that? In your toast, boy. I got one sister. That's her mom. That's her dad. And together, we're one ordinary American, Tanzanian, French, Canadian, Italian, Guatemalan family. In 2018, my family went north to Toronto, Canada. Trust me, I got the beanie, I mean took to prove it. Anyways, when I was around eight years old, my dad, who was 6'4", realized something. I was taller than all my cousins and most kids my age. My dad said he would teach me basketball because it was highly likely that I would love the sport. Unlike most documentaries, where there are nine-year-olds that are already prodigies, this one is different. This was me when I was nine. <laughs> my journey actually started in 2019, where I'd go to the court with my dad, where we'd practice dribbling and shooting the ball, one step at a time. Like many beginners, I was a walking brick. No, Malcolm. I could build Rome in one night with all the bricks that I was putting up, literally. It's okay, keep trying. Take your time, take your time. My dad always told me, keep trying. We all have to start somewhere. 80% of success is just showing up. Me and my dad taped the progress because we knew in time I'll become a great basketball player. And I wanted to motivate other kids like myself and show them that it's okay to miss. As long as you practice, you'll get there. Anyone can still watch all my progress on my YouTube channel. I finally started being able to somewhat control the ball while running. But then that's when. Sasa. At this moment, we have 22 patients in the United States currently that have coronavirus. The respiratory disease, which causes pneumonia-like symptoms, has infected almost 84,000 people in more than 50 countries. The Minister for Health said people should not panic. Tonight, London up lockdown. A city with a population close to that of Ontario. COVID hit. All sports were closed, and we had to stay indoors. My family was on vacation when the border closed. We ended up stuck in Tanzania for six months. This is the last time I dribbled a basketball for a year. On the bright side, we got to go to safaris and see animals in the wild. We took fun motorcycle Ubers. Going to make a clock by using the energy and the fruit. Then I did a science experiment that never made it onto my YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Air Ethiopia who actually was running when other airlines would. The plane was very empty, 
but I did what I do best when I'm on a plane. Things started calming down in the summer of 2021. Me and my dad hit the court again. Two. Good, try it again. You snooze it, you lose it. Is that how the saying goes? As you can see, my skills are still the same. No problem, keep trying. This is me trying to put the ball between my legs. Two. Yeah. Well, it was. Wow, what Whatever. a struggle that was. That was definitely not. Go. Use your knees. Don't forget to use the knees. No matter how many bricks I shot, I never stopped. My dad Googled basketball clubs and that's how we found the Gators. I was excited because I finally get to play basketball with other kids. That's Coach Junior. He told my dad about a development team they're making and I should try out. Then there I was in my first team. I ran and told all my friends at school about it. They didn't believe me. I didn't believe me. I had to ask my dad a few times to make sure. Our first game, I was a nervous boy just looking around everywhere. My first play was an amazing travel. I didn't even know what an inbound was, let alone why I should be inbound the ball. I didn't even know where to stand on defense. Our team lost all their games this season, every single one. But my dad always told me losers make the best winners and his usual keep trying. Oh yeah, my dad obviously became the assistant coach of my team. I was just happy to play with my friends. Good job, guys. I was just really trying to show kids how to get better for my YouTube channel. It was until this guy right here, my uncle David. My uncle bought 2K21 for me this Christmas. Soon as I played, I was hooked. My dad told me to shoot with Curry, and as soon as one shot went in, I never stopped, bro. Then I went to YouTube and realized Curry actually does this stuff in real life. I was hooked. I started researching basketball day and night. I became addicted to basketball, especially after reading about Wilt Chamberlain, bro. His athletic abilities really interested me. Kobe's work ethic. Michael Jordan's heart of a champion, Russell Westbrook's explosiveness, Zach Levine's dunking. Basketball just became an amazing sport to me. I watched all the new school and old school stuff all day and night. I was in love with the game. I watched all random facts, videos, and all-time rankings on YouTube. I even watched all-time list by height, jersey number. Like I was a nine-year-old who knew about Stevie Floyd from the Golden State Warriors, bro. One day I just woke up and told my dad I wanted to be in the NBA when I grow up. He told me it was really hard to become an elite athlete, but as long as I want to, he'll support my dreams 100 Googleplexian percent. <laughs> yeah, boy, I'm really good at math. A, 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 A. Light flex. From that day, every chance we got, we practiced. Before team practices, we practiced. After team practices, we practiced. Yep, don't let the ball bounce. 
going to Bob Bell. I was determined to become the best Bob basketball Bell's player I can ever be. Three months, my game completely changed. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to Niagara Falls for my basketball tournament because I joined a team. And yeah. You nervous? Oh, you a little nervous? Why? Why would you be nervous? It's part of your life. It's your new life. 17? I'm, I'm going to get it. Guys, I'm expecting Netflix. There's so much snow, it looks like rocks. Look. Wait. Is that Niagara Falls or is that Niagara Falls? Which one Niagara Falls? That one or that one? I think it's both. Inferno. What are you doing, bro? You didn't even take a plate or nothing, bro? I'm gonna buy your network, bro. No, I'm, I'm gonna buy your company no, for $1,000. I'm gonna buy yours! Malcolm. <laughs> I started the first game with a block. That gave me confidence that had me going coast to coast. I break the layup. I guess it's different with pressure on you. The team started firing back at us. After the first two makes, I was thinking, uh-oh, not this again. But my teammates kept firing back. Yeah! Bucket after bucket after bucket after bucket. Dang, Jason with the handles. Whether I'm on the court or off the court, I always cheer for my team.
We ended up winning the first game of our tournament. That felt very amazing. This game started a little rough, especially with my putbacks. Again, basketball is a team sport. And my team dropped many buckets. Until the end of the game, I still struggled with my putbacks. But my dad kept telling me, don't worry, keep trying. There it was. We won two games in a row. After the kind of season we had, Wayne felt great. It's not that cold. Well, for up here. Then came the third and final team. They had been winning games in this tournament too. So we felt nervous coming into this game. And there, I finally finished the coast to coast. I don't know what you saw, but this is what I saw. Another rebound for Westbrook. Pull out of steam, into the lane, he goes and he scores. And he... <laughs> Back to the game. We traded buckets for the first few quarters, but ended up down by seven at one point. That's when my teammate Shane went off, bro. With help from a free throw from Nicholas, we tied the game. I bet you could hear that from down the street. Our parents were so happy, they kept cheering for us. They were excited. I felt like the whole gym was shaking. Here it is, tied game. We're in the clutch. My teammate Sean does a good defensive play and gets us back the ball. There goes the inbound. Ashton brings the ball up the court. Gives it to Shane who is on fire. Shane crosses the defender over. Gives it to Nicholas. He barely misses it. Sean gets the rebound. He puts it back up, barely misses it. And the ball is coming down, now. After missing so many putbacks, I could have just passed the ball, especially because my nerves were super high in the clutch. But two words came to my mind, keep trying. And there it was, I made the most important putback. My team goes crazy, we're up by two, I felt like a hero. Game wasn't over though, back on defense, give me that ball, ball doesn't lie. I get on the ground, it's our house. I'm feeling energy now. Time to keep fighting. We accidentally turned the ball over. But Shane, Shane wasn't done yet, bro. We have nine seconds to sweep all the teams. I was ecstatic. I kept dancing like a maniac and the game wasn't even over. We 
he swapped them! Even though we beat the Sudbury Jam, we had to play them again because that's just how it works. Excited? Do you think you're gonna win? Yeah. Gold Won medal? Three games Coming home with a gold medal? Yeah. Coming home with a diamond medal. A diamond medal. Yes. On top of gold. Yeah. Number 10 came out firing. Yeah. I fired back. And honestly, that dude was on fire. We fought hard. We ended up losing by 10. I'm a sportsman and I tip my hat to the Sudbury Jam. I am also happy for my team. We came to the tournament without a win, won three games in a row, and went home with a silver medal. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you win, as long as you give everything that's in your heart. The best part about this is that I got to do it with my dad. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is practice. Legends are not born, they are made. Time flies and I got work to do. Yeah, the first time we worked out together, I was really shocked because he was doing all the drills fairly easily and he wasn't tired at all. So that made me realize I have to make it a lot harder. And even though I made it harder this time, he was still able to keep up and was still able to say, yeah, give me some more reps or give me some more weights. So. I'm very impressed, like he doesn't give up, he's not a quitter. He has that mentality where he just wants to push to get better every time. Man, I gotta say, uh, Malcolm, he's very dedicated, right? He's a very hard worker. He will really excel because he just has that never give up mentality, right? And he's really, really like eager to get better. It doesn't matter how many reps, it doesn't matter how much weight, or how many sets I have to tell him he has to do, he still does it and still says he's not tired, so I keep on pushing him. So I like that. I like the fact that he's very persistent and that he really works, works, works really hard. So I expect to see from Malcolm next year, especially him still working with me, to be a lot faster, much quicker, better agility, and jumping higher. And his hair and eye coordination improving a lot better because that's what we're working on. I can see him improving like 10 times folds. Um, I just want to say, Malcolm, you did a great job today, in today's workout. I'm very impressed. It was easy. <laughs> it was easy, yes. See, I like that mentality. He always says it's easy. That means he's always wanting more. He always wants to get better. That's really good, right? And I know you're going to get be a lot better player in the future. And uh, yeah, just keep on working with me. You're going to improve and excel very much. Good job, buddy. <laughs>
42. 43. 44. Good shot, boy. Ready to go? There you go. Yeah. Good. Keep working, boy. Pow, pow, pow. Legends live forever.